Now I'm starting to discharge the pack with this grid time inverter, pushing 234 watts into the grid, uh, into our own grid. And the cell vo uh, half module voltage is just dropping a bit, but not much. Now that's better. I plugged it with the extension cord to the production line so it can be seen by the production meter uh, up there, the sensor. I mean, and uh, 235 watts showing here, 235. 234 upstairs after a 10 meter extension cord that's fine oh 255 that's a record <laughs> well it's more or less the same I'm gonna I stop the um, this is what this half module look like it's going down slowly the pack 23.8 and um, I'm gonna I stopped for this I stopped the um, ESS upstairs I'm gonna switch it back on and it's gonna push the extra 150 watts necessary here And here we are a few minutes later, it's on and catching up, uh, 250 watts here and the ESS upstairs is pushing an extra 120 watts and almost covering the 500 that we are using at home, no 400 I mean, and voila. It's all blending together. So we are now discharging this pack from, it was I think uh, full at uh, three quarters I would say. It was at uh, 4.01 or 02 per half module. And Jack Ricard was, was recommending uh, today in his uh, uh, Friday, EVTV Friday show of this weekend to charge them up to 4.2 which I will do in uh, maybe in the next time for now I stopped around 4 and <coughs> and the cooking has started upstairs so the ESS is gonna slowly crank up and push whatever it can it stored some energy in the batteries today because it was sunny and we are not using the heater at all, the heat pump. So it's gonna push power all through the cooking process and probably until the um, night rate electricity, which is in France at uh, at uh, 10 uh, 1030 p.m. So the half modules are, are now at 3.95, My meters are not very, very accurate. They're, you see, they're <laughs> pretty cheap, but uh, gives you an idea of uh, the slow drop in voltage. Bonsoir everybody, so we are, I'm back uh, uh, after one day, uh, after 24 hours, I let the cells, uh, leaf cells uh, sit for, um, module sorry, sit for 24 hours, I came back from work, they were at 378, each half module I mean, and we using the small grid time inverter 250 watts pushing 250 watts into uh, that's what you see up there 
on my generation Watson. Unfortunately, the sun wasn't shining too much today, so we have uh, used up all the energy storage system uh, battery. Solar doesn't shine anymore uh, right now. It's the evening and cooking is going on, as you can see, uh, using 2,000, 3,000, So we're slowly pushing 250 watts. And these uh, half modules are slowly going down steadily. Uh, no one is going under uh, the voltage of another. They all they all climb together and they're going down together. I will go until 3.6, which is the beginning of the knee of this discharge curve I showed uh, in my last video. And that means uh, that means uh, 21.6 volts for the bike. So I'm gonna have to stay close and not forget to stop the grid tie inverter when it reaches this voltage. And now I've stopped the discharge a little bit late. Uh, at uh, 358 57 but uh, that was uh, before dinner and now I can see that the, the cells uh, the modules went back up to 3.6 and uh, back voltage 21.6 as expected so I'm gonna go back and charge these cells uh, probably for the whole night and sh shut down the charger tomorrow while I'm at work of course and continue so everything went as planned I haven't checked each individual half module but you can see that two voltmeters are on the, this first half module and this one here and uh, I could go through everything but let's do that I don't think it's necessary but let's do it so let's check the cells first half modules sorry 3.6 here same here between 59 and 6 um, middle same here is the same below it's the same 59 and 6 and the last one So everything is uh, is good. I'm gonna plug the charger again and charge for the second time. See you later.